Podcast Tip of the Week. This is week number 49. In this video, we're going to go over how you can prevent shipments from going to P.O. boxes in WooCommerce. So in other words, when a person checks out in WooCommerce and they put in a P.O. box, they'll get a message saying that that's not allowed. It's actually very simple to do, and it just takes a little bit of code. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into our file manager here, and then up to public HTML, WP content, themes, and then of course our child theme. And then we're going to go into our functions.php, and I'm going to paste in some code, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so I pasted in the code here, and first thing that we're doing is we're adding an action. And we're looking for the WooCommerce after checkout validation hook, and then we're running a function called block box. Now you can call this whatever you like, I just happen to call it that. Okay, so what we're doing is we're passing in an argument which is sending, which is the uh, shipping address. That's what's getting sent. So we're declaring our global WooCommerce variable. Okay, so for Addy, we're doing is set sending shipping address one, and if so, then it sends shipping address one, otherwise, it sends billing address one and then same thing for zip it's seeing if it's sending the shipping postcode if so it sends it and if not it'll send the billing postcode okay so now we have some spacers in here and we have a blank space a period and a comma now what this does is this removes any type of way that they put it in. For example, they may put in P space O space box, or they might do P O space box, or P dot O dot box, or maybe even P O comma box, whatever. This basically just accounts for all different derivations for the address and also for the zip code. Okay, so then we're looking to see if the address says P.O. Box or the zip says P.O. Box or any derivation of that with these in here. And then if so, we're sending a notice saying shipment to a post office box is not permitted. Please enter a different address. And then what it does is it throws an error. Okay, so what this will do is this will show in red. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we click Save Changes. Okay, so let's go and try it out. So let's click on hoodies, for example, and we'll just say we'll get hoodie with logo. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our cart here, and then we're going to proceed to checkout. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in test and test, and instead of I'm going to use an actual street address here. So now what it should do is this should let us go once we click on proceed to PayPal. Now I'm using a sandbox, of course, but that's fine. And then for the email address, if we go ahead and click on proceed to PayPal, what this should do is this should let us go ahead and continue with the PayPal transaction. Okay, yeah, of course, and then it has you log in, and then you would go ahead and pay for it. So let's go ahead and click back, go back to checkout. Now we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to put in a post office box. So let's do PO box, say, 22, for example. Okay, so now when we click on proceed to PayPal, we should get up here a message in red saying that P.O. boxes are not permitted. And there you go. Shipment to a post office box is not permitted. Please enter a different address. So if you go ahead and you enter a new address, um, we can do, again, the 111 Main Street, or it doesn't matter. This would disappear, and it would let you proceed right to PayPal, as you saw before. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and click back. Now let's try different derivations of the PO box. Let's see what it says. So before we did PO space box, let's do PO dot 
or period space box and say 11 for example let's click on PayPal and again we should get that error there you go shipment is not permitted great so let's go ahead and we'll put in all in one word say PO box 11 and again we should get the same message and there you go so as you can see adding a few lines of code you can actually prevent people from having stuff sent to their PO box so that comes in handy especially with like carriers like UPS and FedEx where usually they don't deliver to post office boxes they have to have an actual physical address so that wraps up this week's WordPress tip of the week I hope you enjoyed this video and I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel and be sure to tell a friend and we're almost done with 2018 just three more weeks to go so until next week, take care. Bye.